Today at Woolly Bees, we're going to be going over swarm traps. How I build them. Going to give you a quick overview of it. This one would be a five frame trap. I'm building six frame traps currently. Put a five frame trap together. You'll have five deep frames from the bottom bar to the bottom of the swarm trap. They're six inches. Tom Seeley does, has done a lot of research. Look him up on YouTube. He's come to the conclusion that 40 liters is about the best size of a swarm trap to catch a good primary swarm. So this one's five, five frames. That one's six frames. This one's a little under 40. That one's a little over 40. As you can see, I've camouflaged this one. I'm going to be treating the other ones with echo wood to get a natural graying, browning color so they can be put in the woods and hopefully nobody will see them. On these, I've done a vent hole in the back. There's screen door screen in, inside to keep any bugs from getting in. It's drilled in an up angle, 7 8 inch hole. Not only does this little lip, which makes your frame rest, shed water off of it. Also, your basically a five frame nuke top, which will be bigger for the six frame, also oversets this to give a little bit more rain shed, but the up angle will help shed the water out so it doesn't go in the trap. In the back, there's just little two by four blocks cut to offset it off the side of the hive. Number one, that way you get enough room for your lid to sit on here. There's an inch and a half overhang at the bottom and when I do the video on how I actually install these traps in the woods on a tree, I'll show you what the importance of that is. But gives you plenty of room, it's good and tight. Some people will put a band across. Mine are quite heavy, I don't think I'm gonna have to worry about them being blown off. One inch hole for you to slide it up on a spike or bolt, whatever you hang, you want to hang them onto the trees, trees with. Down in the bottom, it's an inch and a half, inch and a half. Let's try two inch up and seven eighths of an inch hole drilled angled up, same premises to help shed the water. Two inches up seems to be where the bees like to in, enter at. On the thin side, it gives them the idea of working up and down, not vertical. I have tried putting them on the front bottom, and they, they do catch swarms, but not as many. As a friend of mine says, PSS. PSS, what am I talking about? Poke, stick, or stab. Anything inside this box that could be construed by the bees as something that could kill the queen i.e. if she gets poked, stick, or stabbed. By that I mean, you can look at this, that's the screen door, I've hammered those in, I've turned over the screen, make sure all the little wires are tucked under so nothing sticks there. Everything in here, if you miss the staple that comes through, you need to clip it off, grind it off, all of the st staple holes. There's nothing there to poke, stick, or stab a queen. I'll put the measurements of the box down in the description. It's just a easy, simple construction. I glue everything. You wood putty your nail holes, sta uh, staple holes if you're going to use staples. And these are just screwed on with wood screws and Two to four blocks are glued on, then just screwed on, so you can actually take this off if it rots or whatever, breaks. Sometimes you'll have, this will split, and you'll have to replace this, so you can just unscrew it. Anyway, that's it for the swarm trap. It's the Woolly Bees. Like and subscribe to the video. Hit that little bell if you want to get notifications every time I put out a new video. This is the first of a series on swarm trapping. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.